Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 14, which is a new item type called multiple select, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got multiple select here. We need to find two correct answers. All right, so if we just select one and try to move on, it is going to show us a warning message saying you have not answered everything. And if you try to answer three, you notice I've selected the first two, and you notice I'm trying to click that third one or that fourth one. It's not going to let me. So you can only answer two, and it really does want you to answer both. So let's see what we're supposed to do here. The rectangles are going to be covered with squares. That's what an area means, right? The area is squares that you can place inside of a shape. How many squares does it take? Each square has to have uh, a unit. So in this case, each square has an area of one square inch. And we've already got some squares placed, but not all of them. So we need to find rectangles that have an area of 24 square inches. And we need to find two, two of them. All right, so... Let's do this. Let me show you how we can uh, take the long way to try to figure this out here. So we can kind of extend, and we could say, all right, so first, right, as carefully as we can, we're going to try to complete the squares here, and then we can count. And that's kind of the long way, right? So then we can, you know, start putting in there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once you kind of figure out that pattern, then you can kind of say, well, if that each row is eight, I'm just going to write the number that's going to be at the end of each row, right? Eight, 16, 24. You can write a number in each one if you wanted to, but, you know, this kind of saves you a little bit of trouble. All right, so I've got 24 there. So that's one of them, right? So I'm going to end up checking that one. So let's look at this next one. And we could do the same thing. And we're going to extend this out here. Extend this down here because that's what area is, is we're looking at the number of squares inside. You notice my squares aren't perfect this time. The bigger the, the rectangle, the harder it is to get perfect lines. So let's do the same thing. Got one, two, three, four, Five, six. All right, so I'm skip counting by sixes. Six, 12, 18. There's my 24, but you see I've got something left. I've got 30, and I've got 36. Okay, so that's too much. It's not going to work. So this one has just got three rows, but how many columns does it have? Looks like quite a bit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's very similar to that first one, but I'm skip counting by nines. That's not going to work. 18, 27. Okay, so that, that doesn't work. I've already got that first one. I need to just find one more. Uh, my rows are going to be off on this one, and that's fine. So we are looking here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Skip counting by 7s. If I skip count by 7s, I don't think that's going to give me the 24. That's going to give me 28, 35. So this last one needs to be it because I've only found one so far. So this is the long way of doing it. I'll show you a shortcut in just a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, there we go. So that's going to be it. Now, what's the shortcut? Guys, area equals length times width. So how many columns are there? 8. How many rows are there? 3. 8 times 3? 24. How many columns are there? 6. How many rows are there? 4. 6 times 4 is 24. You can just multiply the number of columns by the number of rows, right? And you can get your answers, but that's the shortcut. Our answer is first and fifth. 